And we are live. Welcome to the Ask a Swim Pro Show. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ask a Swim Pro Show. In today's episode, we are talking about how to approach swim training when the pools reopen. So uh, let me know in the comments, not only where are you coming from, but let me know what the current pool situation is like. So if you know that the pool is going to open, if the pool is already open for you, if you're able to go swimming, if you can go swimming in a lake, if you can go swimming in your backyard pool, maybe you know that the pool is going to open in a few weeks. Maybe it's going to open in a few months. Uh, every single week, I like getting an update from the community to know what the current pool situation is like. So right now we're going live. We're going to do a Q&A. We're going to talk about how to approach swim training when the pools are open. So let me know right now where you guys are coming from. And also let me know what the current pool situation is like. So I'm really curious. I want to understand where our community stands. And let me know what your current situation is like. Just let me know in the comments. Just say, you know, hey, Ferris, I'm joining you from Santa Fe, New Mexico, and pools are opening in one week. So let me know. And I'll read out the comments. And I'll tell everybody that's watching what the current situation is like. Kate, welcome back. You are a loyal YouTube Fan. Thank you so much. Kate is from Kansas City, Missouri. Love Kansas City. Uh, pools are opening June 1st. All right. So follow-up question to the facilities being open. What, what does that opening look like? Are you allowed to swim whenever you want or do you have to sign up ahead of time? Like what is the current situation? How are How is the facility dealing with the pool reopen? Like is it kind of a free-for-all? Like everyone can go whenever they feel like it? Or is it kind of staggered? So let me know, uh, Kate. I'm really interested. And we get an idea. Uh, we have Lala, what's going on? I am uh, in Riyadh. Uh, why are you not live on Instagram? Hey, <laughs> so my Instagram, to be honest, my phone was not cooperating. If we can get if we can get it working. Oh, you know what? Let's do it, guys. This is all happening in real time, just so you all know. Here's the deal. We're going to go live on Instagram. We're just winging it. Here we go. This is, is going to be great. So let me know in the comments where you guys are coming from, and let me know where the facility is. Kara is on Facebook. Hi, I am from Iceland, and the pools have opened, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you. Thank you for joining the live, and thank you for sharing that in Iceland, the pools are open. So we got an update from uh, Kansas City that the pools are going to be opening June 1st. All right, I'm going to go live on Instagram, and then I'm going to get back to these back to these questions, but let me know in the comments, not only where you're coming from, but what the current pool situation is like. And I'm going to get this rolling on Instagram and we're going to get the community cranking away with us. All right, guys, you're going to be part of it. It's going to be amazing. And I just wanted you guys to know what the topics are for today. All right. I got my, my phone set up. We're going to go live. Excellent. So I want to thank everyone again for joining me. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's episode, we're talking about how to approach swim training when the pools reopen. So right now we're broadcasting on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Let's go ahead and figure out what the community is saying. So Rachel is in southeastern Wisconsin, and she says, we train in a pool at school, so we can't go back until July, but other public pools and gyms are opening in June. Rachel, thank you for the update in southern southeastern Wisconsin. All right, okay. Um, uh, Shrians is, says, hi, I'm joining you from North Ohio. We are opening our pool again on June 15th, but my parents still won't let me. Oh, man. Well, hopefully, I think they have a good reason. You know, they want a safety first, right? Uh, Kate is saying no specific rules about swimming yet from Missouri, um, but they're still specific in and outdoors. They also said something about non-contact temperature taking. So when you go to the facility, you have to get your temperature taken. Okay, okay. Um, uh, Carolina says, hi, I'm coming from Rhode Island. I'm not sure when pools are opening quite yet. All right, let's see on Facebook. A few comments are coming in. Let's go ahead and scroll up. Um, okay, I, I need these comments in English. I, I appreciate you joining the live, but I can only read English and Arabic. So <laughs> let me know in the comments where you guys are coming from. In today's episode, we're talking about making that come back to the pool. So I, I want to get a better understanding, though of what the current pool situation is like. So if you know that you can't swim, uh, let me know in the comments. If you know you're gonna be able to swim in two weeks, let me know. 
joining from Portugal. What's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Excellent. In Kuwait, they're discussing a reopen now. Excellent. A lot of people from Turkey joining. Marhaba. Salam alaikum. Welcome to the live, guys. Really excited to have all of you join us. Let's go ahead and get right into the topic. And then this is, again, Q&A. So if you have any specific questions or you want to share, um, you know, what the situation is like in your, in your area, whether it's the pool, open water, anything like that, let me know. Uh, the question is, is it safe to go to pools? Well, I'll tell you guys this. Um, in the UK, it's closed. Hola, what's going on? So here's the question. The question is, is it safe to go back to the swimming pool? And I will tell you guys, if you haven't already seen the Whiteboard Wednesday that I did on how to do social distancing at a swimming pool, you have to see it. We, we did a great Whiteboard Wednesday. We talk about, you know, if you're a pool manager, if you're going to the pool, the questions that you should ask. How the, how the virus can spread. And we talk about the different things that you can do to do social distancing at your pool. So if you haven't already checked out that Whiteboard Wednesday, go to the Whiteboard Wednesday on my Swim Pro and check it out. And it's going to be great because it's going to answer a lot of questions for you guys. So make sure you check out that Whiteboard Wednesday, how to do social distancing at your swimming pool. I mean, we all want the pools to be open, but we want them to be open in a safe way. We don't want to just go back to the pool and then everyone gets like sick right? Or you get other people sick. That's like not what we want to do. So we want to be, this is a very serious matter. So we want to make sure that we're handling this appropriately. And I, I do believe a lot of pools are taking the right measures. You know, if, if they're opening, a lot of facilities are actually doing this the right way. They're setting guidelines. They're limiting the amount of people that can go to the pool. You know, I'm really thankful that a lot of pools are opening because they easily could just say, you know what, we're just not going to open. Running a pool is really, really expensive. I don't know if you guys know this, but maybe that's a good whiteboard Wednesday I'll do. How expensive is it to run a pool? Because I think a lot of people would be really surprised. They wouldn't know how much money it takes to actually maintain the pool. I mean, you've got to maintain the chlorine. You've got to maintain the water temperature. You have to, you know, to, to the facility, the real estate value of what it costs to have all that space and all that water. You have to pay for staff, right? So there's a lot of expenses associated with having a actual swimming pool. And the reality is a lot of the, the places that have a swimming pool, they don't have a very big budget. So the fact that they're opening at all, it's it's really, really important. David, what's up on Facebook? How you doing? All right, so, so let's get right into the questions here. Um, is it safe to go swimming? Well, if you watch that Whiteboard Wednesday, what I explained is that a lot of this has to do with the number of people infected in your area. That is how fast the infection is gonna spread. So depending on where you live, if you know there's a lot of cases, there's been a lot of cases, there's a lot of people that have, you know, the facility is 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 unlikely to open because of that, because there's so many cases going on and it really doesn't make any sense to have a higher risk of reopening. So step number one is figure out the infections in your area. And if you have, a lot of people don't have control over this anyway, so, you know, don't worry about it. If your pool is opening and you do have the opportunity to go swimming, that is fantastic. That is fantastic. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to approach that swim training and how quickly you can get back into the swing of things. You know, hopefully you're doing some kind of dry land training or you're trying to stay active out of the water because the last thing you want to do is not exercise for three months and then get back into the pool and then boom, you're done. You're toast. You're, you're, you know, you swim way too much and then you're cash and then you hurt yourself. And that's not what we're trying to do. So it's really important that if your facility is open and they've set good guidelines, and again, you should watch the whiteboard Wednesday that we did, where we talk about how to, how to do social distancing at a swimming pool. I mean, it really comes down to going in the pool, out of the pool, keeping your distance, using your own equipment, not touching anything and making sure that your facility is actually you know, following what the CDC and, and other guidelines are saying. So it's really important that you follow all that stuff. Now, the first question is how quickly should you increase your yardage once you start swimming again? So let's say your facility opens, you go swimming. Like, what do you do on day one? Like, what does day one look like when you go to a swimming pool? I'll tell you, day one should really be about the experience of getting in the water. You know, it, it's not about how much distance you swim, if you want to set a goal of, you know, 500 or 1000 or one mile or, or whatever it is, that's fine. But it's really more about the experience of going swimming. So you want to feel, you know, the, the emotion of going swimming. It's going to feel it's like something that you completely missed out on. If you get in the water and you swim, let's say 1000 meters, that's like day one, then 
check that off the box. Congratulations. That's amazing. Then the next time you swim, let's try and do 10% more than that. Okay. In the very, very beginning, you know, ramping up by about 10% to 20% per week is perfect. You shouldn't really increase your volume more than 10 to 20%, especially if you were not that active in the quarantine period. So if you haven't been doing anything, if you haven't been following dryland training, if you've just kind of been hanging out all this time, then you definitely should not be doing that much swimming. You want to ramp back up slowly. You don't want to go at it too aggressively because you're going to injure yourself and you're going to burn yourself out. So you're really excited. You want to get back in the pool. You want to get the most out of it. But you got to remember, this is a long-term thing. You, you're not trying to get your entire year of swimming in one session. You're not trying to make up for all of the swimming that you used to do in one session. That's a big clarification. You don't want to go out and think, oh my God, I didn't swim for three months or two months or four months or whatever it is. I have to go and swim three months worth of training in one session. Can you imagine that? Like, think about it. Let's say you do 2,000 yards, 2,000 meters per session, and you do that three times per week. So you're doing 6,000 meters per week and you don't swim for 10 weeks. So that's 60,000 meters that you missed out on. And then if you go to the pool and you try and do anything close to that, you're just going to burn yourself out. So you're not trying to make up for all of the swimming that you did. I would, I would say if you were used to swimming three times per week or four times per week, if you can get back in the water and swim two times per week or three times per week, that's going to be amazing. Don't feel like you have to swim so much or as much as you used to do. To swim six days a week, if you can get back in the water three or four days per week at the start, that's perfectly fine. You don't need to swim more than that. All you need to do is to get in the water, redevelop your feel. And so, like I said, on day one, if you only swim 500 meters or if you only swim 1,000 meters or 1,500 meters, it really doesn't matter. The point is you want to get in the water. And then after day one, you want to reevaluate. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And then you want to increase your volume slowly so that it's about 10 to 20 percent per week. And that's how you're going to gradually increase your volume. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into these comments and I'm going to read them. So thank you. So, yeah, water costs are a lot of a lot of money. I know. Um, Kate, thank you so much for being so loyal on these YouTubes. Uh, Shriyans, your workouts are very helpful using your videos. That's fantastic. Thank you for subscribing. If you guys are not subscribed on our YouTube channel, you need to do that. Um, what about after we swim every day? Okay, we'll talk about that. Hello from Taiwan. In France, they opened schools for one week and then they closed because the cases were too much. Yeah, that might happen in different areas in the world. So we need to be ready for it. All right, on Instagram, some questions. Did you come to Turkey? <laughs> yes, I've been to Turkey. It's beautiful. I swam in the Bosphorus. Mike, what's up? How you doing? All right, let's go through YouTube right now. Um, yeah, this is really interesting. Thank you, everyone, for sharing what the current environment is like where you live. You know, right now on the feed, we've heard from people in California, in, in Kansas City, Missouri, in Portugal, in Turkey, in India, in Singapore, in Tunisia, in Kuwait. This is really a global community. Hello from Chile. What's going on, guys? <clears throat> so let's go ahead and talk about the next question. The next question is, I started a dryland routine with the pools being closed. How should I combine dryland training with my swim training? That's a great question. So hopefully you're staying active, even if you can't go swimming in the pool. Hopefully you're, you're still active. If you are doing a dryland training, you should not stop. Okay, so... If you're training two times per week or three times per week or four times per week, if you can squeeze in swimming on top of that, I really recommend it. I don't think you should stop. You should always do some kind of out of water training, especially when the pool shut down because you never know when it could happen again. So it's really important that you always maintain a dry land training routine. And now we have Max who just joined the feed. So we're this is really on, on Facebook, it went next level. Uh, if you guys are not already following on my swim pro across all the different social media, whether it's Facebook, <clears throat> excuse me, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, the My Swim Pro Global. Oh, here's a good shout out. If you're not already in the Facebook group, My Swim Pro has a private Facebook group. I would love for you guys to join me. 
We have over 5,000 swimmers from all over the world. Hello from Indonesia. What's going on? So I want everyone to join us in the My Swim Pro Facebook group. It's a private group. So you have to search it, go to Facebook and type in My Swim Pro Global Community and then join us in that group. It's going to be amazing. Um, let me know some other questions you guys have. <clears throat> so we're talking about dryland training. You should continue dryland training. Um, live in Sweden, Sweden never shut down, but we haven't been swimming indoors. One session outdoors, it's five degrees. Oh, wow. Hello from England. Excellent, excellent. So global community. I really encourage everyone to follow dryland training, even when the pool is reopen, because it not only improves your performance, but it'll reduce your chances of injury. It keeps things active. It makes it a lot more interesting mentally as well to stay engaged. Hello. Hey, Mike. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right. On Facebook, our pools are still closed in Washington. So your dryland has been a real lifesaver and very appreciative. Awesome. Well, we're going to have more dryland coming at you. And there's definitely full dryland training workouts, but also the MySwim Pro app. So if you have not already updated the MySwim Pro app, we've got a cool new setup. We've got swimming. We've got dryland training. We've got tracking. We've got videos, a profile, challenges, a feed. There's so many cool things inside the MySwim Pro app. It's completely different. So if you downloaded the app like a few months ago or a few years ago, it's completely different. So you've got to get in on that app store and you've got to download Redownload, update. Make sure you're on the latest version of the My Swim Pro app available for iPhone and Android. Check it out. We'll link it in the description below. But I hope you guys found this episode and QA helpful. Um, to be honest, you guys didn't ask that many questions. So I like getting the updates of where you guys are coming from and what the current situation is like, when the pools are going to be opening. Uh, if you guys are near a beach and you have you know open water like a lake or an ocean. Let me know what the current situation is like. I want to know, are the lakes opening? Are the beaches closed? Can you go open water swimming? You know, we've been talking about pool swimming a lot, but I want to talk about open water swimming. You know, if you can go back in the pool, you know, social distancing is by yourself. Of course, safety first. Make sure you're not swimming completely by yourself. If you have a kayaker, if you have another swimmer that you're going with, make sure you have an open water pool buoy. Really, really important stuff to make sure that you're staying safe. Let's see the questions on Instagram. Oh, a few people want to go live on me. That's good. I don't know. I, I wish we could go live on Facebook and YouTube together. Um, let's see here. From Algeria. Ooh, wow. We have a lot of more comments. From Brazil. What's going on, Portugal? Hello, hello. What's going on, everybody? I'm in Jakarta, uh, Indonesia. I have a pool, but it's 11 meters long. Hey, 11 meters is definitely enough. So don't think that that's not enough. Um, Basque count country. Where is that? Uh, in the UK, open water swimming is not allowed. Is not allowed with social distancing. Thanks, Mandy. Um, Jackson County, uh, Missouri, is not opening up any lakes or beaches this summer. Lakes are open for boating. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know it's really it's really interesting time because in some areas the open water is available, and in other areas it's not. Um, it's, it's a really a tough time for all of us. I empathize. You know, I, I haven't been swimming in about three months now. Fatima from Portugal. Hello. Hey, Neil from the UK. Open water swimming is allowed. And I've managed to have three swims in a lake this week. Neil, good work. Everyone give Neil on YouTube a shout out. Give him some round of applause. He did three open water swims this week. Super duper. Super duper. Hello from Algeria. Bonsoir. Yeah, that's that's really cool. So if you can get in the open water, I think for me, I live in Michigan. Uh, just kind of give myself my own status update. I live in Michigan, and in Michigan, hey, nice. In Michigan, you're not allowed to go swimming um, in a public facility yet. You know, we have a state order that you know all of these things are closed temporarily. But I'm really confident in the next week or next couple of weeks, things will start to open up. Um, you know, whether it's a public facility like a Lifetime Fitness or LA Fitness and they have a pool or it's a public swimming pool. Unfortunately, a lot of public swimming pools, like we mentioned earlier, they don't have the money or the facility or the capacity to be able to open because running a pool is really expensive. And we talked about that. I mean, you have to pay for the water, the, the chemicals, the pool maintenance, temperature. You have to pay staff. 
You have to, there's a lot of expenses associated with running a pool. And so unfortunately in a lot of areas, because the pool is only open for three or four months of the year, if it's an outdoor pool, like in Michigan where I live, it's really cold. They can't afford to have the pool only be open for one, one month or two months and they, they won't be able to operate it in capacity. So it's really, really difficult. Lauren from Athens, Ohio. I don't think the pools will be open here in the summer. Yeah, it's really difficult. In Michigan, I think it's very similar. A lot of pools that we had hoped would be open are actually not going to open because of those constraints on the facility. And it's really, really difficult. Dominique says, I was wondering if you could make a video of how to swim on a medicine ball focusing on core and balance. We actually, so I don't know about swimming with a medicine ball, like in the water. There's some fun videos. I don't know if you've seen them where people lean on the medicine, on the, on the ball in the water. We do have great content on our social media and training programs in the My Swim Pro app. Sven in Germany. Hi, the pool might open on June 1st. Very cool. Thanks for joining Sven on YouTube. Um, in Germany, the pools are opening. Uh, the pools have opened, but the clubs and lakes and swimming are opening next week. Okay, okay. Emilio, we are waiting in Spain, uh, non-elite swimmers. That's another thing. So if you're an elite swimmer and you're training for the national team, some of these people have been able to go swimming before. If you're interested in purchasing a My Swim Pro shirt, My Swim Pro swag, uh, make sure you give us a DM and we'll link you how you can get one of these t-shirts online. So you, we don't have a physical store, but we have an online. So if you're interested in getting some My Swim Pro swag and represent the brand, My Swim Pro swag, then you can check it out. Make sure you DM us and we'll make sure we send you a link. Just ask about the t-shirt and yeah, you can get it on our website. We definitely have that available to you. Let's see. Ooh, wow. Look at these comments coming in. Thanks guys. I really want to say thank you for being a part of the community. You know, this is really special to have everyone joining us. I mentioned so many different countries that people are joining this from, whether you're joining us on Instagram or you're joining us on YouTube or you're joining us on Facebook. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Uh, make sure you're subscribed across all of our social media. Um, I swam with you in the Bosphorus cross-continental swim and watched you hit the podium. Your, vodeo, your videos are inspiring. Hey, what's going on? Okay. I'm going to try and pronounce your name. Your name is very long. Um, Venkita Krishman. None. Ven, Venkita Krishnan. Wow. Your name, if you could put out the phonetic spelling, that would be fantastic. But we swam in Istanbul together. That's amazing. Uh, if you guys don't, I thought to me, I love your shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Shukran. Okay. If you guys are not familiar, Mr. Teddy's in the background too. If you guys are not familiar, there's a race every year. I don't know if it's going to happen this year. You swim from Asia to Europe. So I swam last year and, and this gentleman, um, guy or girl on the, on the YouTube, she said that she did, or he did the same thing. So you swim from Asia to Europe in Istanbul, in the Bosphorus. So you actually swim from one continent to another continent. So I did this swim last year. It was really cool. Um, it took me a little bit less than an hour and it was a really amazing experience. So if you guys have any questions, I also wrote an article about it. So make sure you check out the, my swim pro blog, and I wrote an article about how you do that. But this person on the YouTube did the same race as me last year. There's like two and a half thousand swimmers. It's like amazing. You swim from Asia to Europe. You take a big ship. There's over a thousand people on this ship. And then you head over and it's going to be, it's like ridiculous. It's, it's crazy. You jump in the water and then you swim from in Istanbul. You swim from the Asian side to the European side. And as you swim, you swim by millions of people hundreds, thousands of years of history and architecture. It's really, really cool. It's really nice. People are asking me where I'm from. I live in Michigan in the United States, and I'm speaking English because that's the dominant language. So I, I speak a little bit of Arabic, but for this, we'll keep it in English. Um, someone says that they have the no pool, no excuses t-shirt. That is amazing. So if you have that t-shirt, awesome. Make sure you take pictures with it and then post on social media and tag my swim pro. So if you have this t-shirt, the, the my swim pro one, or you have 
the no pool, no excuses. We also have a hoodie and a tank top. So we have a lot of different versions of all of the My Swim Pro swag. If you have it, make sure you take a picture and tag us on social media. Also use the social media hashtag My Swim Pro Strength. And final shout out. Thank you, everyone, so much for joining. Uh, Sun Swim, love your videos. Inspired me to start my own channel. Great. Make sure you share it with us. In Chile, Carolina says the pools are closed. Oh, no. Hopefully they can open soon. Um, you are an inspiration because you have knowledge. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you, everybody, everybody. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Make sure you check out the links, resources available to you guys from My Swim Pro. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Make sure you're joining My Swim Pro on not only Instagram, but Facebook and YouTube and TikTok. If you guys are on TikTok, get on TikTok. We're going to make a TikTok with us and make sure you tag My Swim Pro. And of course, Twitter. We're on Twitter. And if you haven't already joined the My Swim Pro exclusive group on Facebook, it's a private group. Make sure you go in there. You have to request to join. Go to Facebook and type in My Swim Pro global community say that you saw ferris on the live and that you want to join and you're really excited and you want to get back in the pool you can you can share everything so i really appreciate it guys thank you so much for joining as always take care stay safe and happy swimming and happy training we'll see you guys later bye 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 see everyone later